the most important ceremony for teaching the populace how to live well was the weighing of the heart. It reveals what the ancients believed happened in the moments after death. Initially, in the ceremony of the weighing of the hearts, the deceased would meet Anubis, who would say, you're dead. Let's have your heart. We're going to weigh it against the feather of truth. If your heart was heavy because you had done something immoral, you weren't allowed to go to the other side. So the populace learned that they had to be light of heart in order to live well. As ancient Egypt slipped into patriarchal ways of being and thinking, the old spiritual ideology became codified and organized religion became dominated by the Amun priesthood. The Amun priesthood had a lot of power and they were in a position to have people pay for their salvation. It used to be that your heart was weighed against a feather of truth, but in later pictures of the ceremony of the weighing of the heart, you'll see Horus holding onto the scale and you could pay the priesthood for Shakti dolls. And the more of them you had, the more likelihood you could buy the lightness of heart instead of being light of heart. Well, this is a fundamental change in terms of how to live well. And I think that we still are living in that way. History is written by its victors. And as the patriarchy took hold, much effort was put into suppressing Egypt's matriarchal past. There's a few pharaohs who were erased from the king's list. Hatshepsut was one, Akhenaten was one, and Tutankhamun was another. The legacy of the controversial pharaoh, Akhenaten, was almost lost forever with the complete destruction of the city he and Nefertiti had founded at Amarna. Now, very little was known about Amarna until there was an earthquake and the pylons at Karnak were filled with these little blocks that had been cut up and they used them from Amarna to just put to, as filler inside the pylons. So when archaeologists found them and started putting them back together, they realized there was a very large story here. 